new and improved Boss Rush Randomizer. Let's see it. Go! We speed running. Remember, uh, if you're watching on YouTube, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. Tell me if you've been enjoying the new uh, randomizer stuff, because there's been a lot of new stuff coming out from the randomizer. None of it's uh, like 100%. Uh, oh god, frick. I forgot how to do this. None of it's 100% done yet, but who knows, maybe in uh, by the time you're watching this on Soten.io, it'll show up. And that sounds fun. It's fine. We'll just use the crosses to kill. Dang it. No, I need the extra max health. What are you doing, Dracula? Stop it. Oh, well. That's fine. Next time. We'll get him next time. Hi, Joel Storm. <clears throat> All righty. So it seems like this starting uh, section basically has to be the same, which is fair and fine or whatever. I am going to do a little bit of exploring, though. I'm going to do as much exploring as I can do. We'll see. I want to see if I can break the randomizer. Ooh, dark shield. Nice. Oh, come on. Are item drops removed from enemies? Items still drop from enemies? All right, let's see it. Give me something good. I'll sit here all day if I have to. I'm breaking this randomizer one way or another. Resist dark. Oh, that's neat. Eh, it's fine. I won't sit here and grind on enemies forever. It's fine. A random library card would potentially break things. That's a good point. But I'm sure Eldritch accounted for that, surely. Surely you accounted for that, right, Eldritch? Ha ha ha. It only uh, teleports you to the entrance? Got it. Dude, what sword am I using? Gladius? No wonder it's ass. Stone mask? I want that. I could grab... If I had a heart refresh, I could grab it. Uh, How close am I to leveling up? 162. I could do a reverse shift line. So what you can do is you could have a reverse shift line happen uh, like here-ish. I guess you would have to do it like here, actually. You'd have to do it like here. And then you warp in here. It pushes you through the floor from the save room into this room down here. But that's fine. Whatever. Tribute. You steal Give you, soul. thank you and for the 10 months. Slaves. Appreciate the good luck. Maybe some other time we'll mess around with trying to actually break this. Do it for science? It would take me like several minutes to set up. And I'm not going to waste several minutes when I do want to see all the new updates. This one, however, I do want to see if I can set it up. Uh, That's tough. I think it would need to be farther. Yeah, I don't think I can reverse shift line when it's set up there. It, it also seems like the... Um, The actual uh, spacing of the teleport is before the screen transition, so it doesn't matter. 
that that reverse shot shift line does not seem to matter. Oh man, he ducked my attack. I need to jump a little bit higher. There we go. Yeah, this is the boss rush preset. So it warps you directly to the next boss after you finish the boss uh, previously. Did you guys just use the... Uh, uh, for the order of the boss rush, did you use the... What is it called? The tactics menu? Or did you just pick a random order? Time attack? You know the time attack menu is whatever you decide to do, right? I think it's modified tactics menu, okay. So it's not exactly the tactics menu, but it, it's based off the tactics menu. You move Scylla, okay. I feel like Scylla should be before Hippogriff personally, but that's just me. If you if you care about like scaling. And uh, probably before Karasamon, but I guess Karasamon you just hit him against the wall over and over again, so who cares? Like, from a casual perspective, Hippogriff has, like, 10 bajillion health for no reason. Every other boss has, like, no health. Shield doing more damage than the sword? Yeah, the sword's terrible. Nothing. Wow. I'll I'll figure I'll I'll figure out a way to break this preset eventually. I drowned down there once. Yeah, I easily could have drowned down there. Nothing here. Alrighty. I mean, I do have to fight all these bosses with like one of the worst swords in the game. So. It might even be worth to just use my fists. Is starting with the monster vial and the pentagram intended, or what's up with that? Because last seed, we also started with monster vial and pentagram. You get a free nuke. Okay, that's cool. Lesser Demon doesn't count as a boss. I don't think you can warp into the Lesser Demon room. Right? I guess we'll find out. Oh, so now I can choose a sub weapon to fight with. I'm like, why am I in this room? Okay, I see. Um, I'll grab the dagger, probably. Nah, holy water is probably better. That's cool. You initially left the lesser demon out because you were a fool. Ah, uh, fooled by the uh, the the uh, tactics menu, I guess. Ah, here he is. Speak of the devil. Um, yeah, I'll use the Gladius. I'll put the Lapis on as well. You know, I'm just going to tank his damage. I don't really care. Can these monsters drop items? The ones that Lester Demon spawns? I don't think so, right? I'm like 90% sure they can't.
Okay, that's cool. Uh, did you fix the wolf bug here? I don't think you did. I'm going to see if I can do it. It's kind of tough to do. There it is. Yep. I think this is a soft lock, right? Oh, no. I can jump. Oh. Oh, we're good. Have you guys ever seen this before? <laughs> it still warps me. All right. I thought I was breaking free for a second. I thought I was breaking out of the matrix for real, for real on that one. <laughs> nice. Uh, I try. I was close, you know, in another world, there's a world where I break out of the matrix there. Alucard learns Kung Fu, all that shit. You know how it be. Yo, what up, Swarm? Welcome. <laughs> yeah, that glitch works the same as Richter Skip, essentially. You're just skipping uh, part of the... Uh, the part of the game where it checks to see if you've entered the room or not. Oh, damn it. There we go. All right, let's get out of here. If you warp all in wolf form, does it force you back into it? Yes, it does. Yo, Tooth of Vlad, nice. <laughs> Yo, Shield Rod, nice. All right, that's pretty good. I feel like that's better than the freaking Gladius. I'll take it. I'm not banned? Jeez. Do you want to be banned? I don't know who you are. Why would you be banned? Should I check your logs right now and figure out if you should be? Because I'm down. I mean, I haven't banned someone in a while. I'm down to throw a ban on the Barbie, you know what I'm saying? One damage. All right. Sick em, boys. We got him. Oh, you're just annoying and want attention? All right, that's fine. I can keep you around as a pet. I don't really need to ban you. There's plenty of people who are annoying and want attention online. You're not special in any way. Get him. Go. Damn, that crit did a lot of damage. I do have the mana prism. I could use it, but it's like, nothing's actually scary about this. I feel like having this much defense means like none of the boss fights have any stakes to them at all. I mean, it's cool, but it's like, oh no, I got hit for one damage. Oh no. What's my armor? I mean, you probably just give them no armor, right? Because I had gold plate and diamond plate, but most enemies aren't going to dish out enough damage for this to matter. I feel like no armor is probably better, and then you give armor throughout the, the course of the boss rush would probably be my way of balancing it. However, this boss fight is a little annoying because you, you can't guarantee to do it hitless, mostly because of Hydro Storm. Unless that, maybe with Hellfire you could? No, with Hellfire you definitely could, actually. But now feel my unbridled. I didn't even think about that. You just do the Hellfire animation. There we go. 
Uh, welcome, Zephyr. <laughs> no, no, not the Unbridled Wrath. Anything but that, please. Yo, is that an uncurse? Let's go. Another pentagram. All right. Yeah, no, boss rush is sick. I'm enjoying it. You know what? Screw it. Let's hit him with the face. Oh my god, you're so dead. Uh, the spell is so expensive, but it's so cool. Yo, an elixir for free? Thank you. Fire boomerang? Probably not worth picking up, to be honest. Normal boomerang, however. Oops. Clean movement, the best in the business. What does dark shield do? It's a shield that is dark. Here, I'll show you. So it either does damage on contact. Oh, just kidding. My ass is getting thrown. I guess that was a bad boss to try and showcase that. Anyways, if you have the shield rod with it, it does this. The hitbox is uh interesting, to say the least. Dude, stop grabbing me. Can you die, please? Thank you. I'm trying to teabag as fast as I possibly can. There we are. There we are. This is some insane teabagging right there. Do I have anything fun for Medusa? Dynamite. It's kind of funny. Sure. That's pretty good damage. Anyways. Dude, that's like nothing. Oh my god. Medusa's got so much damage resistance. It's probably better to just punch her to death most of the time because of the damage resistance, and you just want multiple hits. Yeah. That's actually good to know. If you have a bad weapon, it's probably better to just punch Medusa to death. Oh god. The Halo community wants to know your location. Dude, back in the day, my brother never used um, toggle crouch because the, the teabagging um, speed was nerfed if you use toggle crouch. I preferred toggle crouch. I, pre I thought it was optimal when playing Halo, but he couldn't he couldn't sacrifice the teabagging speed. He's like, nah, dude, you, you just teabag slower with it on, man. And I'm just like, all right, that's fair. So, you know, the, imp the important implications of uh, the real important tech. Get him. Hit him with the bones. All right, that was a lot of damage. Got him. <laughs> Rattle him, boys. This is a neat little concept. I, I, I'm enjoying my time with this. Did I get power of mist? Uh, it looks like I did, yeah. Oh god, not the skull attack. That attack's actually scary. That's the only scary attack that death has. Oh god, I was trying to do Tetris Spirit. Uh, the game's over when you beat Dracula. This would be a preset to play if the world record grind wasn't where you're just unlucky all day and you just want to end on a high note. Yeah, I can feel that.
This also feels like a, a preset that would be fun to actually like just do random seeds to see how fast you can get. Kind of like an arcade. This is very arcadey, which is really cool. So if you just wanted to like grind this to see how fast you can go. To be fair, if you were serious about like world record attempts in this, you would just reset until you got a good weapon, which would be unfortunate, but you know. Boss Rush Racing? I mean, that's what they did in the um, the Discord yesterday. I mean, it's cool. I'm not hating at all. I think this is really, really cool. That wasn't too bad. I'm assuming MP refill glitch still works, so maybe it's worth picking these up just for the chance of an MP refill glitch. Yeah. Uh, that's not how the randomizer works, dump, but I mean, because everybody would have the same seed, which means you'd have access to the same weapons. Oh, yeah. Unless you decided to race different seeds, which that's just a you problem. That's a, that's a, uh, not a skill issue, but like a brain issue. A knowledge issue? Are those a thing? Instead of it calling it a skill issue, it's a knowledge issue. Skull shield? I don't have skull shield. Are you just asking what does it do? Intellect issue, true. Bro, how are you not dead? This guy sucks. Oh my God, stop spawning in the stupid flies. Let me hit him. Fine. Ugh, I didn't want to have to use my mana prism. Uh, probably pentagram actually is fine here. There we go. Oops, not the shield. I mean, I want the attack potion. I'll do this just in case things get really bad, but I don't see a world where this isn't just 10 minutes of me attacking him over and over again. Whatever. Oh God. Well, GG's. It's over. Yeah, GG's. I bonked, so now we're just doomed. Yeah. Well, that's fun. Yeah, I don't think there's really much I can do here. I mean, if I get really lucky, I can get away with, like, doing this over and over again and hoping that I get, like, MP refill glitches or something. I don't know. I literally gave you a circlet. You understand Barrel Circlet does nothing against this guy, right? I mean, I could heal, I guess, off of some of his attacks to stay alive, but this move, the move that he spams over and over and over and over again is uninfected by circlet, right? Like that's the move. That's the reason why this guy is so annoying. 
This is just a giant uh, microcosm. That's the, that's an oxymoron of why nobody understands why this is just a poorly designed fight. Because it's like, oh, but the barrel circlet. It's like it does nothing. This this is a physical damage move. It's not a lightning based move. That infinite is not consistent, Eldritch. I know which infinite you're talking about. It's not a consistent thing. He can choose to break out whenever he wants. It's essentially random. Yikes, that's rough. Yeah, this boss sucks. It's a bad boss. It's poorly designed. It's almost like I've been saying that for years, but nobody listens. This is the only time you can get damage in. Wow, one damage. That's so cool. That's so awesome. I love this boss fight. So cool. He only has 12,000 HP. Nah, please teach me a thing or two about this video game that I've spent the last 10 years playing professionally. Especially when it comes to dumb shit like this. You go back to the checkpoint? You could have told me there was checkpoints! Yeah, the, the, the optimal strat is to die on purpose! I thought it was game over! Yeah, no, the, the strat is to die on purpose. Zero HP? No problem. No, oh, and you get a free heal. Wow. I refuse to take the heal. Please don't heal me. Thank you. I will accept my zero HP. Uh, I'm gonna fucking die, though. <laughs> Alright, there's one down. No! I thought he was the one that died. Fuck. All right. Now we're doing the rest of the zero HP. I don't want your heals. No, we're doing the zero HP, I swear. However, not healing uh, MP is actually kind of cringe, not going to lie. That's fine. We'll figure it out. Come on, crits. Just give me some fat crits. Nope, I guess not. Damn it. Fine, I'll just take the fucking MP or HP, whatever. Damn it. You keep your experience too, so you could just farm bosses to get uh, extra experience. Interesting. Oh okay, yeah, I guess I could put on my, uh, oh, I did already put it on, never mind. Uh, whatever. Yeah, MP refill glitch would go crazy. You can farm barrel circle, it's true. The most important item in the game. All right, this time I won't mess it up. Have I seen Castlevania Nocturne? Uh, I don't think anybody has seen it because it's not out yet. Unless you got a secret uh, pirated copy or something that you're willing to share with the class. Boss rush? Yes, boss rush. I think if anything, I'm just like realizing how annoying these boss fights are.
Like, most of these bosses are just, like, wait until you have, like, your one opening. Especially when you have limited resources. Oh, well. No, I should be grabbing these for the chance of an MP refill, to be honest. Damn. Maybe next time. Now, will I screw this up? Oh, it's because of the spot I was spawned in. Dude, that's cheeky. Yeah, you're spawned in a spot where you're more likely to screw up this, uh, this boss fight, I see. It's the emote, yeah. No, I added thumb up. Thumb up is very funny. Do we know what causes MP refill glitch? What do you mean causes? I'm glad you came uh, to watch live, Captain Jukes. It is the same frame in which your MP would tick up in the HUD. Uh, I do the same, Eldritch. So if the screen freezes the same frame that your MP is ticking up on the uh, heads up display, it will um, continue to tick up during the screen freeze. What is going on with Gallimoth? This is just the only way to kill Gallimoth reasonably. You forgot? Yeah, no worries. What the hell is Jewel of Open for? I'm interested in <laughs> I'm interested in this. Ah <laughs> nice. Nice way to patch out shop glitch. Thank you. Uh that's funny. Uh whatever. Uh, probably... I'll just grab Alucard Sword, I feel like, right? It's cheap enough. It's good. Medusa Shield's kind of funny, actually. Eh, screw it. Yeah, let's do Drac Tunic. Let's do Medusa Shield. I'll grab Alucard Sword as a backup. We'll just do that. Let's go win the video game. Uh, the preview item on the table has always been a thing, Sestrin. In fact, it is a, a staple of many of my thumbnails when referring to stuff that happens in the library. Uh, actually, I'll kill this guy with Alucard Sword, I think. Yeah, I remember the first time I noticed that it was uh, a revelation for sure. Ow. Ow. God, this boss fight is so dumb. Yeah, if anything, this is just making me more acutely aware of how badly designed the bosses are in this game. Oh, yeah, I do have Barrel Circlet for that, at least. You're right. I don't know. I, I disrespect the Barrel Circlet as a concept. Such that I don't want to wear it. Again, this is my favorite game of all time, and I'm I'm going to criticize it. <laughs> That's It's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with me criticizing my favorite game. And if you take offense to that, uh, I recommend you probably go outside a little bit and maybe talk to like real people, <laughs> like real human beings and not just internet people. Because at the end of the day, my opinions about this video game don't affect the real world at all.
Damn, I'm getting both laser beams the whole cycle. That's crazy. That doesn't always happen. There we go. Rip bitrate? We don't need bitrate where we're going. All right, that was fun. Again, great concept. Uh, I'm excited to see what updates can come in the future with this. Uh, but for now, it's, it's, I'm glad it exists. Will I be doing this a lot? Probably not. Uh, but I'm happy that people are working and making ROM hacks for this game. That's that's very cool. YouTube, don't forget, uh, if you're here, you can like the video, subscribe, and join the live stream over on twitch.tv slash dragonblitz. See you later, YouTube. Bye-bye.